Hey, check out this Torino. That's a nice surprise there. I've only been at this show here in St. Bruno, Quebec, just off the island of Montreal, south of here. Cloudy right now, not too many cars, of course, because it's clouds and it's not going to rain. But you know how people are, these car guys are like, any chances of rain, they don't want to bother coming. So, But, um, you know, it's funny, right away when I saw this Torino from several cars over there, I saw the green on it and I thought about back in... Uh, over 20 years ago, I was doing a house clean for seniors in Montreal, in the Hampstead, you know, Côte St. Luke area and all that. Snowden. And I saw one time, I took a picture out, I, I started bringing my camera with me all the time back in like 99 or 98. And so in 99 or 2000s, I see a Torino like this. And of course it wasn't, like this is a repaint, this is not the original color I'm sure. Uh, but it was more like a lighter green metallic and uh, I'm not sure it had a vinyl top but it was the same year. Same year as this, 70, uh, 74, 73, excuse me, 73. Pardon my French, I should know better. 73 was the first year for those heavy duty, as they're known as 5 mile per hour bumpers, you know. Hey. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So that's it. So I, I, I think I sold that picture years ago to whoever. And uh, you know, whatever, wherever Ford lacked in quality in these in this decade, especially when it comes to rust and bad automatic transmissions, they made up in motors. 200 straight six cylinder, 302, 351, 400, 460s. These are all excellent engines. And uh, this one is a. <sighs> Mighty, I'm blind. See, that's why they can't let me drive legally. I can't even see what it says on the air cleaner. It's a 351. That's a typical block for this car. Very typical, actually. Right when the oil crisis hit. Oh, Mac, look at this. Oh, I'll get to this in a moment. Oh, oh that melts my butter even more than the Torino. Oh, God. And these I love too, but it's like, which one do I love more? This one I filmed years ago in Laval. This one I filmed years ago in Greenfield Park. Gorgeous uh, 57 uh, Montclair, very as uh, stock as it gets. But by the way, one thing I didn't mention for those of you learning, you know, you're learning about classic cars. Technically, this is not a classic, in my opinion. Classic deserves, you know, like 69 Camaro, 65 Mustang, 57 Chevy. That easy, Mister. C'est just YouTube, c'est just the fast. Oh, wait, we're just fucking around. <laughs> anyway, those mags are aftermarket mags, meaning they were available sometime after the car was made, 90s, 2000s, whatever. What's weird about the 73 is that it was, I think, the only year where they had the heavy front bumpers, but they didn't have those heavy bumpers in the rear. It was the same as before, 72. And look, this car is actually quite original. Look at that, Keating Ford. I have no idea where that is. Of course, Google, I'm sure, would tell me. I like how I can see the plate reflecting on the Monarch in here. That's a nice touch, eh, with the crest here. Oh, it's a Grand Torino. That's right, because I think if it was just a Torino, it wouldn't have all the deluxe trim here on the bottom, the thick moldings, other things like, uh, let's see. Oh, wow, that's a very original interior. Look at that. I would have expected for a Grand Torino to have a floor shifter. Doesn't have a floor shifter. It's got a tissue dispenser, man, that's weird. Have a radio? It's got a radio, it looks original. Doesn't look like it's got a lot of mileage on it, that's for sure. Like, like really not a lot. Look at the, t the seat, that's the only terror. Man, these cars are hard to find. Once again, if you guys don't know a lot about old cars, they're not easy to find uh, classic cars in, in certain years because they were just, they, they weren't very well made as before. They, like I said, for Fords particularly, doesn't matter if it's this, an LTD, a Lincoln. I mean, try to find a Lincoln from those years, forget about it. They're all rusted out. They went to the boneyard years ago. So it's really cool to see this, you know? Yeah, the vinyl top's very nice. Maybe this is the original color. I'm gonna see if I can get a word with the owner and see if he tells me. Holy mackerel, look at that. Look at the wheels on that Austin Haley. That's freaking weird, man. That's a very nice automobile, though. Very nice automobile. Yeah. I'll get a little view here from this guy who's as tall as I am here. Wow. Jesus, you know, I can't remember the last time I saw an interior this brown. I, I seriously, I'm I'm totally impressed by it. I just look at your typical shoulder belts. So the seat belt was in two pieces, you know, right? You had your bottom part for your 
your uh, waist and then the top part there. That didn't last very long. It only lasted a few years. Oh, there's that Newport I filmed at the Julep a while back there. Uh, Newport 300, bite my tongue, bite my tongue. Yeah, yeah, let's listen to that 440 for a second. You know, a lot of guys would never take a car to a car show with that that Bondo or Rush showing there. Hey, uh, c'est qui le propriétaire? Oui. Je vous dis, c'est un monsieur, merci d'avoir ramené ça. Moi, je cherche tout le tour des voitures anciennes. J'ai jamais vu à n'importe quel show que je peux y aller pour un milliard pour prendre l'autobus métro. Et je vais juste te demander quelques questions. C'est où ça, Keaton Ford? Keaton Ford, c'était à Verdun. Oh, really? Oui. Ah, OK. That was, uh, did you hear what he said? It's from uh, Verdun. That's uh, great. I live in Verdun. I'm a part uh, tight caught uh, a bloke, you know, a Québécois. I don't know exactly where, but it was in Verdun. OK. And I'm sure looking at the overall condition, especially the interior, is so original. It's which is original. weird, which is weird because I would have figured a Grand Torino would have had a little bit more bling, a little more, you know. No. But that's a, a Canadian car, that's typical. Yes. Mileage is like what, maybe 60,000 or something? No, the original mileage. When I got the car, it had original 11,000 miles. What? It was still okay. the original. Is this the, origi tire. Is this the original color? No, it was gold. Oh, it was it gold. Was gold rust. <laughs> I like how he says it was gold rust. Of course, to go with the brown interior. Oh, look at this galaxy. Mustang wheels. Mustang and Torino wheels. Excuse-moi, monsieur, je t'écoute. Mais tu sais, quand ça vient des vieux chars, là, écoute, on n'est pas, pas à Californie, là, écoute. Écoute, moi, j'ai amené, j'ai déménagé, j'ai habité à Verdun, j'ai habité dans différents secteurs de la ville. Ça fait quasiment 9 ans, j'habite à Hochelaga. Et j'ai déménagé là parce que c'est old school, mais il y a moins d'anciennes que jamais, parce que tu le sais, Montréal, écoute. I'm not gonna go there, you know, it's... But anyway, guys, uh, the owner is really cool to talk to me a few seconds, and uh, I'm going to stop here for a moment and chat with him a little bit more. Thanks for watching.